If you looked at the example that we gave in the last module of the penalty shootout game and the, uh, and the mixed strategy profile that we have uh, provided, um, you, you can find out that that is indeed a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. In other words, you cannot really find any other uh, sigma i prime or si prime uh, from which you can actually gain. Now the question is how did we find that MSNE? That answer was some, somewhat like magical. So in this uh, uh, module, I'm going to tell you how actually that uh, number, those numbers were found. And for that, we'll have to develop a little bit of uh, more uh, definitions and notation. So uh, first we are going to define the support of a mixed strategy. Uh, this is also the same thing as the support of a probability distribution. Uh, what that means is if you are looking at a specific uh, mixed strategy, which is nothing but a probability distribution of a, a specific player over the strategy space SI, uh, then, the, the, then the support is the subset of that strategy space of uh, that player on which this uh, mixed strategy or this probability distribution has positive mass. So note that it has to be positive. Uh, we know that probability masses are always going to be non-negative, but uh, we are just isolating uh, uh, those uh, strategies uh, where the mass is positive. That is going to uh, be called the support of sigma i. So whenever you are giving a specific uh, probability distribution, you already know what is the uh, uh, what is the support of it. Uh, if it uh, so in the in that example there was uh, left and right. If the probability mass was uh, uh, positive in both these cases, then the support is both L and R. If it is uh, uh, zero on one of them, then the other one uh, remains in the support. So formally, uh, delta of sigma i uh, is uh, is denoting the support of sigma i, which is the collection of all those strategies in the strategy set, uh, where this uh, sigma i has a positive probability mass on that uh, strategy SI. So using this definition of the support, now we are in the right position to define the characterization theorem. So characterization as it means that it characterizes, so it gives some sort of a necessary and sufficient condition for the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. That is what we mean by characterization results. Now what is this characterization result? We say that a mixed strategy profile sigma i star sigma minus i star is a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium if and only if for every player i in this uh, uh, set of players n the two conditions hold first thing is if you look at the strategies in that uh, in the support of the of this equilibrium strategy for player i so delta of sigma i star i'm looking at player i and i'm uh, looking at the uh, uh, the support of that player i in the sigma i star then the, uh, the expected utility of that player uh, for all the all those strategies in that support uh, when the other players are choosing the sigma minus i star is going to be the same so this is the first condition that it has to be same for all the the expected utility and remember that this is something that we were uh, calculating uh, when we gave that example uh, we are looking at what is the the strategy profile of the other player and then we are looking at the uh, the uh, the expected utility of uh, of this player uh, in one strategy versus the other strategy uh, they has to be same and uh, in the example that we gave first uh, four fifth and one fifth that was not true and the second condition is that if we look at two strategies so one strategy is living inside that support and the other strategy si prime is living outside the support then the expected utility in, uh, uh, in that support must be at least as much as the utility of the uh, of the other strategy which is outside the support so this inequality should also hold. Uh, you might uh, wonder that, uh, I mean, there is a more uh, concise statement possible. So in some sense, if you just replace this second condition with the SI prime to be inside capital SI, 
then the second sub, uh, second uh, uh, statement itself subsumes the first statement because then uh, inside SI you also have this delta sigma i stars because delta sigma i star is nothing but a subset of SI. So for those cases this inequality will get satisfied on both directions so therefore it, it should be equal. For the cases where it is uh, not in sig delta sigma i star then this inequality should hold. But I have written this uh, two statements separately just for the ease of understanding. This makes it more explicit in some sense. So what is the implication? So we will be proving this result in the next module but let us uh, look at uh, how this can be actually useful. So this particular uh, characterization result will be very useful in finding out the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium uh, in, a, in a normal form game. So let us go back to the penalty shootout game uh, and see that there is no magic. Uh, so, so suppose, so we will first have to find out the supports and there is no, so this uh, th uh, theorem does not tell you uh, what that supports will be. It is just saying that uh, uh, for the support uh, uh, on which you have this um, uh, mixed strategy uh, Nash equilibrium, uh, those supports has to follow a certain property. The, the probability masses associated with that support has to uh, satisfy certain conditions. But to find out the, uh, the uh, mixed strategy in Nash equilibrium, you will have to actually iterate over all possible support profiles. So let us look at the first support profile where uh, both these players have L and L. So uh, by this, uh, I mean that the support of the first player is L and the support of the second player is L. So that means um, the, the first uh, individual, uh, the first player is putting all its mass on L and the second uh, player is putting all its uh, probability mass on L. Now this is uh, this is definitely violating uh, the second condition of this necessary and sufficient condition. Why? Because if you look at player one, let's say, uh, what it what it is saying, uh, it is saying that um, you know, if you look at the sigma minus i star, so sigma minus i star in this case is just L. So you'll be considering these two numbers. Uh, minus 1 and 1 because R is outside the support and L is within the support and if you look at the utility so U1 uh, when player 1 is choosing uh, the uh, the uh, action or the strategy inside that support which is L and the other player is choosing L uh, this should be greater than or equal to U1 when the uh, when you are picking the uh, strategy which is outside the support and the other player is picking whichever it is picking. So this is the sigma minus i star. But this is certainly not true. This is uh, minus 1 and this is uh, this other part is plus 1. So this inequality gets violated. So therefore this cannot be a, a valid support profile. Similarly you can you can do this uh, very similar exercise when it is r comma r. Uh, you will see that again uh, uh, the for these two numbers, the, the inequality will get uh, violated. So it is not even uh, true for player uh, for that support profile when both these players are choosing R comma R. Now the other possibility is that uh, the first player, and this is a symmetric case to the other case where uh, player two is choosing the support profile L comma R. So here, let's say player one is choosing the support profile of L and R together. And the other player is choosing the uh, uh, the support profile of L. Now this is uh, this is not going to violate uh, two uh, at least uh, at least in this case. But what it now violates is that the expected utility. So there is another condition, uh, the condition one, which says that for all the uh, strategies in the in the support, the utility of this player must be equal to must be the same. Now, uh, again, sigma minus 1 star in this case is just the L, uh, just one uh, strategy. And therefore, uh, uh, in order to satisfy this condition 1, this number should be equal to this one, which, is, which it is not. So it is definitely violating the first condition. So uh, even this cannot be a, uh, this case 2 cannot be a uh, strategy profile. It, it cannot be a, a valid uh, support profile. Uh, for a mixed strategy in Nash equilibrium and you can do the the converse exercise when player one has L and the uh, other player has L comma R and even if you do R and uh, L comma R you will find the same uh, uh, same outcome. 
Now, the only uh, possible uh, possibility, therefore, is this case where both these players have the full support. Uh, both the players has L, R and L, R. In that case, uh, we see that the uh, condition 2 is vacuously satisfied because there is no strategy. So let's go back here. So there is no such strategy which will satisfy this condition because the uh, the support is the whole of SI. So condition 2 is uh, is uh, is vacuously satisfied. That's what we call. Um, there, is, there is nothing to verify in this case. All that we need to verify here is that this uh, first condition is satisfied for both the players. Uh, inside their support. So in order to do that what we can do is uh, let, let us say uh, we are going to put uh, probability p and 1 minus p here and q and 1 minus q. So what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to uh, look at the strategies. Uh, so let's say for, for player 1 if we uh, want to do uh, the uh, satisfy the condition 1 then it must be the case that the expected utility expected utility when it is picking this pure strategy L which is in the support and the other player is picking this mixed strategy sigma minus i star uh, should be same uh, when it is picking uh, L versus it is picking R. So therefore you can then do this so what it is doing is you are multiplying this uh, minus 1 with the corresponding probability mass that, uh, that this player is picking this L and this 1 with 1 minus q that is going to be the left, left hand side. And similarly, when you are going for R, then it is 1 times Q and minus 1 times 1 minus Q. That is going to be the right hand side. And you then solve this number, you will uh, solve this equation, then you will find that Q is equal to half. And similarly, you can do the, uh, the very similar exercise. Uh, let me just erase this part. So you do the same very similar exercise uh, by looking at the expected utility uh, when you are multiplying this 1 with P and minus 1 with 1 minus p and equate that with uh, minus 1 multiplied by p and 1 multiplied by 1 minus p. Uh, when you do that, you will find that p uh, turns out to be equal to half. So p and 1, 1 minus p both are half and half. So therefore the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So this is the this is the unique number which satisfy, uh, satisfies uh, both the necessary and su uh, sufficient conditions uh, of uh, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Therefore this uh, half and half for both these players is a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium and that is how we found the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium uh, for this uh, penalty shootout game and there was no magic there. So let me just uh, for your own uh, understanding of this uh, idea how you are actually you know, finding the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Uh, let me give you two uh, games and find the, ex um, find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium as an exercise. Uh, so this uh, games we have uh, seen earlier so uh, this is a game of uh, football and cricket there were two friends one of them liked football more than cricket and the other player liked cricket more than football uh, we have discussed that they, this games have pure strategy Nash equilibrium so 2 1 and 1 2 were pure strategy Nash equilibrium which will also emerge if you do this uh, exercise uh, step by step this uh, uh, strategy profile will also emerge as a MSNE in your uh, calculation uh, please do that but there will be a non-trivial um, uh, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium as well so let me leave that uh, as an exercise uh, find there is a there is some p and 1 minus p and there is some q and 1 minus q but none of these are uh, exactly equal to 0 or 1 which uh, what is that uh, uh, P and Q and uh, the second example is just a concatenation we are just uh, uh, appending one one strategy for the player 2 and the corresponding utilities uh, try to find out what is the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium for this.